Hi there and thanks for watching my video. Today I'm going to teach you how to manage your website's analytics data using Affiliate Tools. I will teach you how to identify the important data and use that to increase your traffic and visitor engagement. If you don't know what Affiliate Tools is, it is a cloud-based internet marketing software suite. It contains all of the tools that you need to monitor your website, to track its performance, to do keyword research, manage your social media accounts, and even helps you build links to your site so that it will rank well in search engines. Let's get started by taking a look at the dashboard of Affiliate Tools. Here you can see all of your most vital data at a glance. You can see your traffic trend, a breakdown of your visitor traffic over the past 24 hours, your current SEO performance, any critical SEO errors that you have, and you can even identify how well your social media accounts are doing. I recommend setting this page to be your browser homepage like it is for me. I have done this because it lets me see all of my important metrics at a glance without having to sign into lots of websites such as Google Analytics, Facebook, and Twitter. After taking a quick look at my website's performance, I usually want to dig a little deeper, so I use a fill of tools to do a quick website audit. I do this by clicking on Health Check. The first page shows you which of, your, which of your pages have the highest page authority in Google, which is great for identifying the most important content pages of your website. After this, I then click on the performance button at the top of the screen. On this page, I can see if my website has any performance issues that is making it slow or giving it a bad user experience. So looking at the page, I can see that I have two high, high priority issues that I need to take care of. Affiliate Tools has been really great because without it, I would not know what issues on my website I needed to prioritize above the others. With this, I can better manage my time and workflow. Next, I click on the Issues button here at the top. This identifies Google SEO errors that I need to fix up. So as you can see there, I've actually got a few that I need to fix. This is a big help for me because before I used to fill tools, I would have had lots of SEO errors that I didn't even know about, and they would have stopped me from ranking highly in Google search engine. Now I know what they are and rank better than ever because I fix them up when they come up. The SEO page here at the top gives you further information about how well your pages are performing in Google. Another thing to keep in mind also is that it doesn't just tell you what your SEO errors are. A fellow tools also get, tells you how you can fix them. Because if you come here, you can take a look see. It tells me that I've got a duplicate title tag problem and it also gives me more information about what the problem is, plus a link to somewhere where it will tell me how I can fix it so that I can continue to rank well in Google search engine. The next thing I do is I analyze my website traffic. To do this, I click on the traffic button in the sidebar. Now, by default, this page shows your visit account for the past month, and it also breaks it down page by page. It compares it to the previous month. You can change this period to any dates that you like. The next thing I do is I click on the sources button here at the top. What this will do is it will take me to a page that shows the breakdown of how, my, of how traffic is entering my site. I use this to identify important trends. For instance, I can see if SEO traffic is down, which usually means that I know that I need to prioritize fixing the SEO errors that a fellow tools has found for my site. If you want to understand who your visitors are, then you can click on the demographics button at the top of this page. It will tell you the country, language, and more of your visitors, and it will give you a breakdown of them. This helps you see what demographics and locations you are doing well in and which ones you need to work on. In addition, you can also use the goals page to track any Google Analytics goals that you have and see which ones are converting and which ones aren't. So there you go. Managing your website analytics and identifying the important data that you can use to increase your website traffic with the fellow tools is really easy. All you need to do is follow the tips and advice I have outlined in this video. A trial subscription to Affiliate Tools costs just $1 and you have a 60 day money back guarantee. So you have nothing to lose. So thanks for watching my video and be sure to check out the rest of them to learn other great traffic and SEO tips.